Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. There are a lot of scams out there, and I'm going to try and help protect you from one of the biggest ones that we see in real estate, especially for people that are looking to rent. So they tend to show up on Zillow and Craigslist and Realtor.com, and I'm going to show you uh, how that happens, what to avoid and what to uh, look for as far as a red flag. But first, let me explain to you how the multiple listing service works, especially for us as realtors. Now, this isn't a video that says you absolutely have to hire a realtor to look for a rental. It's not about that at all. But what we do is we'll take a house and we'll post it for sale. And there's all kinds of requirements on what has to be in the multiple listing service. It has to be accurate. If it's not, we get fined. And uh, so once it gets in there, it it feeds out to every other brokerage nationally. So it can go to EXP, Coldwell Banker, HomeSmart. The listing ends up everywhere. And that's the information that you see. So you'll see it on my website. You'll see it on Coldwell Banker. That's just the way it works. It's the multiple listing service and it's shared. It's called, uh, um, well, they have also what's called syndicated data, which is on Zillow. Now let me explain how Zillow works. Zillow and realtor.com. They also get that same information. Just as it went to Century 21 and Coldwell Banker, it fed the information to Zillow. That's great. But here's what people can do on Zillow that you can't do in the MLS. People, no matter where they live in the world, can download the pictures of my listing. And especially if the listing, let's say it's already sold. And I put it as a listing of a house for sale and it's sold, but it shows you on Zillow this home is sold. So they do this research and they find a home that's sold, but the pictures are still up. So they download the pictures and they download the pictures and they create their own rental listing and they can put it on Zillow. All they need is an email and they put it on Zillow and they give you a remarkable price. Now there's some agents that have been proactive on this and on their photos, they've done a watermark that says for sale, not for rent. So if you see that, that's why that's on there. They don't want them downloading those pictures, putting them up for rent, but people are getting awful good at Photoshop and ways to get rid of that. So that worked for a while, may not be working as well now. So here comes the home that sold, it's now listed as a rental at an unbelievably good price. And you call them and you go, or you send them an email. Hey, I really want to see this rental. And so there's a couple scams that they do for you. One of them, they go, well, as you can see by the numbers here, I mean, we've got a lot of interest and a lot of traffic and we've got appointments all day. If you want me to hold your spot, um, you can send me a deposit. And uh, if you don't want the place, we'll get the deposit back to you, but it's 500 bucks. But that way you can see the place and I'll, and I'll meet you there. And so they give you the information and you'd be surprised how many people send them the 500 bucks and you never hear from them again. Now, I don't know how they don't get caught, how they hide the money. That's not in my sandbox. I don't get how they do it, but they do it folks. And, uh, and you're burned. And so you chase the bargain. Now, one of the things that you can do is you can actually look up the tax records or call an agent friend and say, hey, I'm looking at 123 Main Street. Will you check this out for me? It's a rental and it looks really good. There isn't a real realtor out there that's going to tell you no. So do that. Say, you know, I was searching on my own and I found this place. And you go in and they can pull up and go, no, that place is not for rent, my friend. Um, it sold in January of 2024. Um, so no, run away from that. And you can see that when you get on Zillow, you can see all these homes that are for rent. And so if you bump into one that looks like it's a real bargain, then, then, uh, you know, you better do some due diligence. Now the worst one out there, the absolute worst one out there is Craigslist. Craigslist is just full of scammers when it comes to real estate. Now I just pulled this up. So I really haven't had time to go through and dig and find one, but I bet you I could find a listing here that just goes, holy cow. I was looking for a client once down at Sun Lakes. And I saw this home and I thought, are you kidding me? $900 a month? It was a two bedroom. It was a nice place. It was on the golf course. Oh, man, this is fantastic. <laughs> I looked up the address on the MLS and it was for sale. So I copied that link from Craigslist and I sent it to the agent and I go, hey, somebody cloned your listing. Uh, they're putting it up for rent. And uh, so, you know, they turned that into Craigslist and got that removed. But I'll guarantee you there were people that were just crawling through the uh, floor there to try and get on and get that place for 900 bucks a month. And they're out there. And so they 
will be very professional. Another place that you got to be very careful is Facebook, Facebook groups, Facebook marketplace, especially Facebook groups. You can get into a group. I know of one agent that said uh, that he um, got contacted from somebody and goes, Hey, I'm going to be a little bit late for my appointment today. Is that okay? And he's thinking, I don't remember booking an appointment. What did I get drunk last night and book a bunch of appointments? And the guy goes, no, here's our conversation. He sends him a screenshot of a conversation that they had in Facebook Messenger about this particular listing, this rental. And yeah, I can show it to you. When are you available? Five o'clock. It's got his photo and his whole business profile and everything on there, except it wasn't him. So people got in, took a look at some of the postings in this group, and they created a listing, you know, or they answered a question. Somebody puts in there, does anybody know where I can get a three bedroom, two bath home in Tempe for under 1900 a month? And they pounce on you. Absolutely. Here it is. I found it. Uh, when would you like to see it? And they send you a picture and everything. And you go, oh, man, this is great. Well, can I see it this afternoon? Yeah, that's fabulous. Um, but again, um, there's so much interest in this. Uh, you know, you're going to have to put down a deposit in order to see it. Don't worry. The deposit's refundable. I can get you in the door, but I'm taking deposits for appointments because I'm not going to drive up there 10 times today. And uh, just to have people just, you know, be looky-loos. If you're serious, I'll, I'll help you out. And that uh, that can be a problem. And so you have this legitimate conversation on Facebook and you think, oh, really, I'm talking to Rick. He's right there. There's this picture and everything. And it's not me. Now, if you've been on Facebook long enough, you know how easy it is to get scammed on Facebook. I had somebody reach out to me last week that I knew. She lives in Sweden and she goes, hey, Rick, how are you? And uh, and how's the family? And I said, good. And the first thing to come back, hey, I've got an opportunity for you. Well, that's a red flag. And I said, Oh, that sounds great. Hey, tell me, what's your cousin's name that lives in Seattle? And they go, that's a very mean question. Now, I knew Annika, and she would have said, Roy, why do you ask? <laughs> so that that screens them right away. If you know somebody and you know something personal you can do. There's also a lot of um, AI technology out there now that you got to be aware of. Somebody can call you, and they'll sound just like me. Now, if you're going through Zillow or you're going through realtor.com and you see me, you have no idea what I sound like, but they can pull my voice off of YouTube right now today and use that for anything. Hey, this is Rick from Rick Hills Real Estate. Remember me? I've got the perfect house for you. Would you like to see it this weekend? A lot of stuff out there. They also use that to scam grandparents, but that's a whole nother topic in which they have the grandson call from Mexico and say, I got arrested and they are asking $5,000 in bail to let me go. Can you help me? Now, you need to set up a code word for that, or you need to go, how's your sister? I mean, if you know that your grandson doesn't have a sister, there's your answer. Oh, she's fine. Bye. We're not playing this game. So be aware of scams as you get out there, and especially if you're in a hurry to find a rental, um, it, it can really come back to bite you. So if you have any questions, shoot me an email, rick at rickhelps.com, and as you're looking for rentals, don't be afraid to, reach out to a real estate agent to verify if that property is indeed up for rent. I hope this helps. Have a great day.